Hiya, it's Editor Chan. Today I'm going more into depth with images, how to create them, and how they work with dialogue. Characters are divided into stages, where each stage corresponds to the removal of an article of clothing. Each stage has a numeric ID. Images are associated with stages by using this ID as a prefix to their file name. For example, here in stage 0, the fully clothed stage, we're using the image named MAD. Since this is stage 0, the corresponding file name is 0-mad.png. If we look at a case that is used across multiple stages, the same applies. Looking at stage 1, the file name would be 1-com.png. For stage 3, 3-com.png. Now let's go over actually importing images from KKL. On the Poses tab, each row represents an image. For stage, use the ID of the stage your pose belongs to. For pose, use the name of the pose. Let's jump to KKL and export the code for the code column. The other columns are for cropping and will be handled automatically when you import. Importing brings up the cropping utility and you can adjust the red box to adjust the size of the image before accepting. Notice the numbers here adjusted themselves. I'll go ahead and repeat this process for a few more stages. It's good to use the same cropping region for similar images, so I'm going to use the copy cropping button here to copy the crop values from zero jump to the other two. Then I need to re-import them again to update the image. Okay, so we've created a jump pose for a few stages. Let's see it in action in dialog. There is a fundamental restriction to posing that trips up many beginners, which is that poses only appear in the drop-down menu if that pose exists for every stage that the case applies to. Here I'm making a case that applies to several stages, some of which we never made a jump pose for. As you see, jump does not appear in this list. If I limit the stages down to a subset where jump exists for all of them, then we do get the option to use jump. As soon as I add a stage where the pose does not exist, then the pose gets cleared out. We'd have to remove that stage to get it back. So always keep this in mind if you are finding that your images aren't appearing for selection. It normally means you're trying to use it in a stage where it doesn't exist. That being said, there is a way to work around this by assigning poses per stage. Let's give this case a pose that does exist in every stage, and then click this double arrow icon to bring up the per stage selection screen. Here I can specify a different pose for this line for each stage, and that will allow me to use the jump pose for stages where it exists. If I leave a stage blank, it will use the primary pose. You can also make a pose global by omitting the stage prefix from the file name. I've got a pose here that I want to be able to use in multiple stages, which for this exact pose probably doesn't make sense, but whatever. If I supply a pose but not a stage, this will create an image named all.png, and if you look in the dialog, it will appear in the dropdown regardless of stage. Let's switch gears and talk about importing more complicated models from KKL. Here I've got an image attachment loaded into KKL which I want to include in my pose. First, in the editor setup, you need to make sure you have the KKL.exe location filled out correctly. Now, I'll fill out a pose row. When I import, I'm presented with a screen asking me where my image attachment is located. If you have multiple attachments, you'll get multiple rows listed here. To resolve this, for each image, click Browse and locate the file. Once you've done this, it'll let you continue importing like normal. You only have to do this once per attachment. While we're here, I'll mention pose lists. You can save this table to a file or multiple files and then reload it later. If you have a pose list named poses.txt, it'll automatically load that list the first time you go to the poses tab.
The More button lets you control advanced settings like part transparencies, which can be useful for hiding and isolating model parts. Here I'm completely hiding the right arm and making the skirt 50% see-through. Sometimes you have a really complicated scene in KKL that you want to import that is too complicated for the poses tab to handle properly. The screenshots tab helps you with this by taking a picture of whatever is currently visible in KKL, which you can then crop and turn into an image. As long as naming conventions are followed, images created this way work just the same as images imported in the poses tab. In fact, any image works. There is nothing preventing you from creating images outside the editor or even outside KKL. In fact, many of the characters in the game have had their images touched up in Photoshop. Okay, that concludes the fundamentals of images. See you next time.